Welcome back to the vlog, guys. If you haven't heard, we are doing yeah. daily... If you guys haven't heard, we are doing daily uploads for the rest of the month. So that means every day at 2.30 Pacific Standard Time, you can catch a new video uploaded. So be sure to subscribe and hit those post notifications. Today is gonna be a very, very important day for the R8. And I feel like every video I say this, but today we are gonna be transferring on our new front bumper for the R8. Now the main impact of our crash on the R8 was on the front right side of the car. So hopefully today, when we put this front bumper on, everything clicks and fits where it's supposed to. So today is kind of the make it or break it day for us to know if we really did a good job on getting this car back to what it needs to be. Our old bumper has all of our old grill bits and harnesses attached to it. So Calvin and I are gonna strip this bumper and swap everything over to our new one. Let's roll the time lapse. that time lapse on that front bumper, but I'm happy to report it looks phenomenal. It looks amazing. It literally looks it brand looks, new. It looks amazing. We also threw on a 1016 front lip. You guys will get a better look at that once it is on the car. We got that to fit nicely. It is much bigger than the stock carbon lip. So everything has been transferred over. We have our new bits on this car. Also, you guys haven't seen the last couple days. I'll give you a quick little peek. We have our new radiator ducting, which that is bolted in and it is ready to go. We also have in our new plastic bumper retainers, which this was what we were waiting on for quite a while. So all of the factory pieces that are needed to slip the front bumper on are here. Done on the car. Literally, after we put this front bumper on, the car is a car again. We do need to change out the hood because it's a little bent. And then we have all the front stuff to put in. But if but. we close that, it looks like a car again. So this is the moment of truth, Calv. I'll be honest, I'm a little bit nervous here. If we get this front bumper to fit up nicely without any like weird snags or just making sure everything fits on correctly, because if you guys don't remember, this whole entire rear brace was rebuilt, re-welded. And this is where the dimple allegedly is in this car. So if we're gonna have any issues with fitment, we're gonna see it right around here. Keep in mind, this is our crashed hood. Our new hood should be in this week. Keep our fingers crossed. Then once we get the hood, getting the hood to fit without any like weird gaps, it's gonna be a whole nother story, but let's take a step by step. Calvin and I are about to try to put this front bumper on for the first time, and let's keep our fingers crossed that it goes smoothly. Roll the time lapse. <laughs> Do we have a success? I think that's successful. I think. I think that's super. I think. I think we have a success. I think we did it. Oh boy, and it fits just like it's supposed to. I don't know. I'm like kind I of really I excited. I think. I think that's it. I think that's it. I don't want to close this. You can lower it a little bit. The front, the hood is a little damaged, but you can like almost. It'll scrape against. You can it. almost. Holy. As you guys know, our R8 is almost ready for the road. And I'm gonna be using nothing other than our VR1 racing oil for this car. The VR1 racing oil from Valvoline has a high zinc content, which has a high anti-wear protection film integrated into the formula. As a lot of you guys have been wondering what we're gonna do with this car, I'm not gonna give away the real details of how much power we are gonna be making, but let's just say the R8 will probably have the most horsepower out of all the cars in the whole entire shop. That being said, the motor is gonna be under high stress at all times, which is why I'm gonna be using the VR1 racing oil. It is designed for high performance motors, which is exactly what this car will, will end up being. And it's gonna smash every other car in the whole entire shop. VR1 Racing Oil is the best and it will be used for the best. Thank you so much for Valvoline for working with us and being one of our best supporters throughout our brand. And now let's get back to today's video. So while this is on here, I'm gonna go ahead and start the car. It's gonna be very obnoxious and loud, so Calvin, I apologize. But one of the things we're gonna do later this week is we are going to change the oil and uh, top off the coolant. Those are some of the few warning lights that we have left in this car, as well as the airbag lights. Those have to be uh, cleared because we have new airbags and such in the car. But I wanna take a quick note as to what remaining warning lights we have. Biggest one at the moment that we have, that we don't know if it's a real issue yet because we haven't done a full like clear of all the codes yet, is 
is we have a malfunction that says something like um, all wheel steering malfunction. That one I'm a little bit nervous about. So I'm gonna fire the car and see if we've lost any warning lights because we have the whole front harness now connected. And like I said, we're still chasing this issue of the car not starting on the first fire. So who knows, maybe because we've closed the circuit, it will fire again. I don't know, but we're gonna try and see if, if anything happens. Am I good to go? Still freaks out, don't know what that's about. So we have oil change and inspection due, that's nothing new. So there, there it is, stabilization control malfunction. That's just traction control. Front passenger airbag is off. Loss of pressure in the tires, we don't have tires on, that's all fine, I don't care about that. Turn off engine, check coolant level, don't worry about that, that seems concerning, but there's coolant, it's just not high enough. Loss of pressure in tires, we still don't care about that. Drive system malfunction. That one I'm a little worried about. Could be something really simple though. What else are we gonna get? Okay, one sec, Cal. All wheel drive malfunction. You may continue driving, please contact service. Were the headlights on, Calv? I didn't check. He was Okay. Just flip them on. Yeah, they're good. Cool. This hood also is in the hood we are gonna be running, so Calvin and I are gonna take advantage of this time and just take it off right now. So we gotta strip all the pieces that come off of it, which is actually more than you would originally think. So I just got home and I was gonna dive into the beers to try and fix the vacuum line leak. Bill from Delicious Between texted me like the savior he is, and he's like, there's actually two vacuum lines that are mounted underneath this intake manifold that sounds like exactly where it's coming from and like that hissing clip that I played. And he said it's very, very common and it will kill your idol if it pops off. And of course I tried digging for it and I'm pretty sure this manifold has to come off to get to it. So I'm not gonna be able to do it today, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I'm kind of bummed. I was hoping I was gonna be able to slip it on while the car was just sitting here, but I failed. My friend Danny that you guys have seen in the vlogs like since forever ago just started streaming on Twitch and he's one of the funniest people I have ever seen and ever watched on the internet. So if you guys want to follow his Twitch, I'm gonna link it down below. I hope he streams often because Danny would be naturally such a good streamer. Shout out to Danny. I love you, Danny. As normal, we're gonna make some macaroni and cheese shapes only. Wait! One of those if you know you know type of deals. If you know about why are you trying to lights up? Oh. <laughs> those who follow my Instagram, you know about the show that we have called Cooking in the Dark. And if you don't follow it, here's my Instagram right here so you guys can tune in on our next Cooking in the Dark special, which I don't know when it will be. Actually, it will be next week on Wednesday because Sabrina has a uh, big don't, surgery don't, don't. that day. Wow, you haven't even updated them on me at all. You can have, well, someone has a YouTube channel that they don't have a video on. No, 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 no. So someone's, oh gosh, my stuff's boiling over. Editing is a lot harder than it seems, so if you're an editor, wow. email me. Come no, on. you don't mean that. You don't mean that. Because no, now I we just. As many emails as you do. Now we. Oh, it's in the vlog. It doesn't matter. I need to check to see if my pasta is al dente. Uh, Why? You, you always have some sort of like. Bodily. <laughs> exhaust. Ex exhaustion? No, you always have some sort of deposit of bodily gas. That's not true. It is. This is my milk substitute. Mm. Hemp. Hemp plant based beverage. And I can drink out of it because TJ won't dare come anywhere near this stuff. No, I will not. That is correct. But surprisingly, it does not taste. I don't really know what hemp is supposed to taste like, but it tastes but like pot. No, it's not related, you dumbass. Hemp and I actually don't know. I'm not educated on that, but it tastes like milk. Okay. So if you're looking for a dairy substitute because you're lactose intolerant, like TJ, but he doesn't want to admit it, I'm then start drinking. Then start. Oh look, he's making mac and cheese right now. 
I will hear from him later. Oh, there comes the milk. Here comes the milk. I'm lactose intolerant. Every, okay. Don't, don't spread girls, lies. Girls out there, if you have a man slash lactose intolerant but won't admit it. Not you're lactose not, intolerant, you're not bro. Okay. You're not alone. Casey, I'm talking to you if you watch this. I'm not lactose intolerant. No one understands my struggle. No one does. Shout out to last night when you're like, you didn't make me dinner, but I literally made you dinner that night. And then you're like, oh yeah, but it was an early dinner. What does that even mean? We're hopping on right now to play some video games with the boys. Gotta get our COG KD up. But before I do that, I'm gonna read a few comments from yesterday's video, which there was an overwhelming like amount of comments and stuff about you guys saying how much you just loved me and Sabrina's environment together. And some of the comments were like super, super cool. And to see that you guys like just a normal day is, it's encouraging for me to do more stuff like that. So shout out to everyone who commented how much you enjoyed yesterday's video. And again, you guys just like love on liking the videos and stuff and thumbs up him up is like so strong so I appreciate that and it helps out the videos a lot. A few top comments from yesterday's video that I really enjoyed was, I know this is a lot of work for Teach, but God I'm really loving the daily content especially just the bog life. I don't want August to end. That was from Jonathan R. J.R. Bumuel said, when Miley drinks she cannot control herself. Take that how you want. We're gonna fix it soon I promise. I saw this and I wanted to bring it up. Daniel Ernato said the fact that he hasn't said anything about doing a full interior in his beers is just mind boggling. I do not like modified interiors too much. For the beers, I love it exactly exactly how it is. Putting bucket seats in that car would just be a dishonor. Like the stock seats are so good. And I had the, the perfect like spec that I wanted that to me means a lot. Like the interior of that car means a lot because I wanted that specific one. And I don't want to do a steering wheel that's like overloaded with carbon that doesn't match the theme of the car or like an Alcantara like race wheel that would just ruin it. Like I did a full audio system and I did a lot in that, but I don't want to change it. It's perfect how it is. And I don't think I'll ever, I'll ever change it unless there's like an interior like gauge cluster like update we can do. And I think you can do that. So I was actually in the forums then. Anyways, this is from the internet's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace out and keep moving forward.